This is video number six about my upcoming album, Big Starving Thing. And I had been running a funded campaign, but it's done and it's surpassed the target. So thanks, you're deadly. So I'll be keeping you all updated on when there'll be the pre-launch listening party and when I'll be posting it CDs then the launch party but in the meantime I wanted to keep making videos talking about the album because I really like doing them and it seemed to pique people's curiosity so I figured I love talking about my music if you want to listen to me talk about my music that's cool so this video is about a song called Frida Kahlo's Delight oh. a link below to where you can find it on Bandcamp if you want to um, and you can download it from there. So the story behind Frida Kahlo's Delight um, is from the point of view of Sally who's also the character behind Kamikaze or she's sometimes called Suicidal Sally. Um, she's sitting looking at her window and she sees um, a spinner go by. A spinner is a, a little piece of fishing tackle and she thinks it's kind of curious so she follows it, she goes out the door and sees it cross the road and then she sees it go down um, towards the seafront and then she sees it go past Mortello Tower and then she sees it go into the sea and she keeps following it and keeps following it until she's halfway to Hoth and there's a mile of water over her head and then she notices there's two silver fish also chasing this spinner. So the song Frida Kahlo's Delight is the conversation that these two silver fish are having um, as they chase this spinner. And one of the fish is dressed as Frida Kahlo or as much dressed as Frida Kahlo as a fish can be. It's got um, wreaths of seaweed wrapped around its head um, like the ribbons and flowers and things that she wears. This fish wants to catch the spinner because it wants to wear it like an earring to add to its Frida Kahlo look. And the other fish is trying to convince us that this is a really bad idea. So one of the silver fish says, it could decorate your life. The other says, it won't satisfy you. Oh, but I'll wear it like an earring. I'll be free to Callow's delight. It's oh so fine. It's just a trinket on a line. So part of me is wary of kind of explaining this story or explaining the song too much because the it that the fish are chasing or the it that Sally is following is different to different people. I want people to see the thing in life that they chase um, in the song rather than me telling you what the spinner is or what the fish are talking about. But instead, I want to talk about Frida Kahlo. And why Frida Kahlo? I was in the room with all her self-portraits and I was just looking around. All of them work together to create this one image. She turned herself into an icon and that there's something very uh, attractive about that. The idea that you could simplify yourself, you could come up with this version of yourself that's, um, that's not really human. It doesn't have all the doubts and all the um, messiness and all the complications um, that a human has, that you could work throughout your life to create a version of yourself that was still very powerful. I don't mean simple in a bad way. You condense your entire self, your personality, your beliefs, everything down to this one core image that you could present to people. But then there's also something kind of brutal about that. You lose so much of who you are. And it made me think about things like things like in politics or art or when you're trying to convey an idea, it's always very um, tempting to try and simplify. If you turn an idea into this icon, people can recognize it quicker. But on the one hand, that's great because you get to communicate in a much more powerful, direct way with people in this kind of visceral way. You show them this icon and they just get it. But on the other hand, you lose so much of the subtlety that's probably integral to the idea in the first place. Well, would it be fair to say that uh, you got rather tired of playing the same kind of roles all the time and, and wanted to try something different? Well, 
I, it, it's not that I object to doing musicals or comedies. In fact, I rather enjoy it. But I would like to do also dramatic parts, too. Mm -hmm. And of course, the fish doesn't know that the spinner is his demise. And even his friend, who's trying to convince him that it's a mistake, his friend doesn't know. He thinks the spinner is just trivial and it's silly to chase it. He doesn't realize what a spinner is to a fish. Or to Sally in this case. Sally's also, I mean, she's got a mile of water over her head. I think the spinner is having the same effect on Sally as it would have on a fish. Thanks again to anyone who funded the mastering and printing of the album or who spread the word on Facebook or in the big bad real world or who came to gigs or who just watched the videos and enjoyed them thanks to you as well and in the meantime you can keep an eye on www.reinasallyhartman.com if you like and there's a mailing list there if you want to sign up to it.